As the vaccine for COVID-19 appears to be nearly ready for release, the key to an alternative vaccine or treatment may come from animals that are best known for their fur coats. News Nation's reporter Dave Nethers in Ohio spoke with one of the researchers and explains why alpacas are generating growing promise. Watch out, pup. At our little world, alpacas in Grafton. Hey, stop. You're going to get spit on. Yes, they get a little rowdy. Joy and Brian Turner raise their animals for their coveted fleece. We process it into yarn, um, and then I take the yarn and make products out of it. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> but the creatures may hold a key to something even more important. That we, you know, own animals that <laughs> could be part of the solution here. Uh, mm -hmm to this worldwide pandemic, really. As pharmaceutical companies race to release the first COVID-19 vaccines, the family of animals that includes alpacas and llamas. So he has a speckled wakaya llama. And camels appear to have within them small antibodies that researchers believe can provide an effective alternative vaccine or treatment for COVID-19. What they're doing is trying to see if it will adhere to the spikes of the virus. Basically, um, develop a, a special kind of antibodies um, called a llama nanobodies um, that uh, can greatly neutralize um, SARS-CoV-2 virus, uh, which can be used for fighting COVID. Among the sites doing such research is the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. You just need a trace amount of the nanobody to completely block the virus from infecting the cells. From his research, Dr. Yi Shi says a vaccine or treatment from the camelid antibodies could be developed that can be used as an inhalable mist that does not need sub-zero storage requirements of other injectable vaccines that are nearing public release. One of the lead uh, nanobody compound uh, can be stored at room temperature for as long as six weeks, if no longer. Come on, Spot. The Turners say they have not been contacted to help with the research, but the studies provide a natural alternative that makes their prized creatures all the more fascinating. Yes, we want it to be over because we would like to get right, back to normal. See you later. See you later guys. Dave Nethers, News Nation in Grafton, Ohio.